Hey guys, here's a couple of Vim tips that you might find useful. So let's open up a file and to start, if we select a couple lines here, let's say we select these two lines and then you unselect them, you can reselect the same lines by pressing J and V. Next step, if you are in insert mode, let's say we're here and we're in insert mode, we want to remove the previous character. What you can do is press Ctrl and then H and that would simply remove the previous character. If you want to remove the previous word, you can press Ctrl W and then if you want to remove the entire line all the way to the left, you can press Ctrl U. That would remove everything to the left side. Next up, if you want to open up a specific file, but then you want to target a specific kind of uh, line number, we can say Vim and then let's say Lua key maps and plus 10. This plus 10 specifies what line you want to go to. So if you press enter, notice that we just jump right away to line number 10. Next up, um, well, let's open up this again. If you want to copy, let's say, these three lines, usually there's a couple ways, right? So you can press W and then come here and paste, etc. But then there's another way. You can select whatever lines you want to copy and then press this one, which is the column to open up the command line. And then you can say, for example, we want to copy to line number 15. And the way you can do that is by saying 15 or T15. And notice what happens. It copies these three lines and put them all the way down without actually having to kind of pressing Y and P or anything. And the opposite of this one is, for example, let's say I'm here and then I want to copy number 17 or essentially this line here. I want to put it on 11 and I'm on line number 10. The way you can do so is open up the command again and say 17 and then you say T and then dot. And that will copy that line and put it right underneath the cursor. Next up, if you want to open two files, for example, in split mode directly, you can say vim and let's say we want to open up, I don't know, init, and then we want to open up another file, which is Lua. So there's two ways to do so. If you do dash O, that will open up these two files in horizontal split. And if you want to open those two files in vertical split, you can just say capital O, and that will open up both files. I would see that very useful for tests, for example. Next up, and I have this um, key map here, which is super useful. Let me show you. So I got this key map here, and essentially, um, let's open up a Go file, for example. You can select these kind of three lines by saying, you know, VI and then this bracket thing, it will select whatever inside of it, or VA, and then can brackets will select everything with the bracket. If you want to copy these three things and then paste them, obviously you select and copy. However, I created this scheme map, which is super useful. It's, uh, if you press uh, capital WW twice, essentially, you copy it. So you can do something like WW and then boom paste it for you. The way I did so is with this key map. So it's like VA uh, bracket and then capital V to select the whole line and then Y essentially to copy it. This is super useful um, for times where you, have, you want to copy, for example, a full function or something like that. It just saves so much time to duplicate a function, for example. And the last tip is if you want to open up NeoVim, but without loading any of your configuration, you can say vim dash u, um, say like none, for example, press enter, notice that it loaded um, nothing, none, and it opened up vim for you without any configuration. Notice here it says cannot read from none. The idea is that when you pass in dash u, you can pass in the path to a specific like configuration file that will load your configuration for you. For example, if I pass in something like this and then put here in it, this should load my existing new Vim configuration. So if you pass in none, well, you're saying I don't want to load any configuration. This will open up new Vim without anything. All right, these are the seven different tips that I had in mind today. Hope you like it and I'll see you in the next one.